What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Tickle My Terror. Got another gameplay commentary for you guys. Just a quick video. I kind of wanted to talk about all the stuff that went down at COD XP over this weekend. But before I get all into all of that, uh, I want to introduce the gameplay really quick. This is a nice 30 and 3 free for all on Favela. I made a nice comeback. I joined the game quite late. Must have been about 5 minutes in and I don't know, I can't see what the score is right now, but he was ahead, you know, quite a bit and I had to come back and uh, I'm using the MG4, one of those guns you don't see too often, but that's the thing I like about Marfa 2, all the guns are just great and you can use every single one of them and just do, just do fantastic. But enough with the gameplay, let's go ahead and get right into the topic which is COD XP which happened last weekend and it must have been an amazing event for the people who did go. And if you did go, let me know in the comments because I really want to know how it was. But uh, people, they got to go out to, they went out to LA, they got to play Modern Warfare 3 early, they got to play paintball on a scrapyard looking map. It wasn't exactly like scrapyard, but it looked pretty similar and it must have been tons of fun. They got to go down a zip line. Um, I don't really see why that was there. I guess it's just something random for all the people who actually use zip lines in Kowloon or something. But uh, overall, the event just looked like a hell of a fun. I wish I could have gone, but my school was already, you know, in session. I didn't really have any time. Plus, it's a lot of money just to get a ticket over there. And uh, I think you have to be 18 or something. I'm 17, so maybe next year. We'll see. But the best part must have been getting to play Modern for 3 early. Now all the gameplay and information that was shown and released there, it really got me excited for Modern for 3, but it also got me kind of worried that the game might, you know, end up bad, because they're getting so complicated with all these perks and killstreak setups and, like, holy crap, I, I really was hoping that they'd kind of go back to the COD 4 kind of theme where it'd be a little bit more simplistic, but that's really not what they did, um... Now what I'm thinking is that, you know, I took a look at the perks and I saw what each of them did. I'm thinking that people are just going to put on Assassin, Blind Eye, and Ninja, and that is your ultimate cam class. You might not get the beneficiaries of using Slide of Hand or Quick Draw, but you put on the Specialist kill streak, and you'll get the perks anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is just going to end up turning into a huge camper fest with those classes because... You know, those Assassin and Blind I put together is pretty much ghost. You got your dead silence, which makes your foots quiet. And uh, once you get your, you know, 2, 4, and 6 kill streaks, you can, you can get your sleight of hand, your quick draw, and whatever you want for 3rd. And I think they said once you get to your 8th kill streak, or your 8th point streak, or whatever the hell they're calling it now, you get all the perks that are available to you. And that just sounds like, holy crap, I hope I didn't hear that the way I heard it. And uh, yeah, this was a nuke video. I had to get something really quick, and uh, I only had like one or two games to play, so hopefully you guys don't mind a nuke video. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the COD XP and all the stuff that was shown. Uh, if you guys want me to do a more in-depth uh, commentary on this, you can also let me know on that. Thumbs up the video, please. Subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, peace out, Girl Scout. I'll see you guys later.